That is genuinely... What? Wait, that was on a fl that was on flat surface. Now I'm gonna be doing this for eternity. Wow. You may have noticed that in the past couple of days, I have become a speedrunner. Someone told me that I should start doing speedruns. I have submitted a speedrun. I have just been resetting, 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 and resetting every single world. Running into a character during a speedrun feels like Baldi just screamed sick him and they all come after me. Like seriously, this is what it feels like being caught by the principal. But how did that even work? I, at least I got- Don't make me do this again. What? What? At least I'm hydrated. Um, I have TV to watch and... He orchestrated it! And I even did a live stream where I sped ran Baldi's basics. Uh, We're not on time. This is a horrible run. And surprisingly, this was not even close to being a contender for the best run. Though it was my personal best at the time, I am now ranked even higher than I thought on speedrun.com. I've taken over JJ Slow's place, and I'm in third place. Wow, I could have worded that even better. It just sounds stupid. A horrible first floor to start out this first speedrun. Yes, this is my first ever, like, speedrun that I actually completed. So this is why this one was the first to be listed on speedrun.com. Literally 25 seconds in, I found the first notebook, and that's, that's really bad. At least I started finding the rest of them pretty quickly after this, but it was just, it's just depressing. No running in the hall. I get jump scared by the principal here, and now I'm freaking out. You can see my mouse shaking as I'm trying to juke him out. Conway. He's right behind me, and I shake. But hey, we make it in at 1 minute and 3 seconds, and 1 minute and 3 seconds is a horrible time to get into the elevator. You can see that time slowly go down as the next speedruns come up. The second floor though, we got 3 energy flavored zesty bars. Oh, and you see me use that banana trick? That's pretty cool. This is one of our main issues, is the principal. He's really annoying during these speedruns, and I lose a lot of time due to him. Also, map generation is whack. I, I don't even understand how they do map generation like this. It's just... It's just annoying. But wow, the last two notebooks I need are literally right next to each other. And I almost got stolen by the sweep. We got our first exit, and then we just run all the way to the next one. A 2 minute and 10 second floor 2 is mediocre for a speedrun, that is. It's really good if you're just playing casually. This is where most of my mess ups are. If you didn't notice, I skipped the pit. Now, the pit stop is insanely useful uh, for floor 3, and I learned this eventually for my next two speedruns. It's just too difficult to guess where all the notebooks are on floor 3 because it's so gigantic, but you do genuinely see growth in my speedrunning. Now, I feel bad for calling myself a casual speedrunner. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I, I feel bad. There were people in the comments of one of my videos being like, casual? You call that casual? Oh my god, I am garbage at the game then. Sorry about that. I didn't realize. We're coming up on our last two notebooks, and it's just not looking good. We're already five minutes in. Baldi barely misses me with his ruler, and I gotta say, this speedrun is fast, but it's not fast enough. Currently with the time, we would be in fifth place, and at hyperspeed, we are gaining... Oh my god, and I, of course, I go into the map. I didn't even realize that. And we are quickly making it into the fifth place, sixth place, Seventh place, even. Seventh place is now where I comfortably sit with this run. And you know what? That was just fine for me. Until I realized that I wanted a better score. Back at it again with the speed run plan. This floor really isn't too special. There wasn't really anything... Uh, it's special to note. There's a lot of stuff I could have cut down on. I get terrified of Baldi right there. And it's just, it's just a simple floor one. 
but we made it in there in only the first minute. That's three seconds less than the first one. Keeping the notations short with this speedrun because, well, it's just not as interesting even though it's shorter. I had trouble finding the notebooks after I got my fifth one and that's what really screwed me over here. The second floor for this one was just not it. But I did find the last two notebooks here, which the principal was covering them both. I shouldn't have looked at Sock Puppet right here because he ended up actually ruining my chances of getting a shorter time. I think Sock Puppet added about like four seconds onto the, the speed running time, but it might be five. I'm not too sure. With this speed run, we were actually on pace to get the world record, and that is something that I didn't know. This is also the first one where I actually do buy the map because I needed it. I also tried buying other things, so that's why you can hear Johnny like scold me. I tried buying other things, but. There wasn't anything I could get. This third floor is honestly the worst third floor for a speedrun ever. There is so many different twists and turns to get to the, the, the notebooks and it just sucks. So here we go, getting all these, there we go. Now it's the final part. I decided to use my banana right here. I don't know why. This is where the gravity vent really screws me up. Um, I end up having to use my maps because I didn't understand where I was looking. I thought I was looking the uh, wrong direction. Thank God I got Sock Puppet here because I would literally be dead. Right in the nick of time here, I'm able to get the, the exit, but I, so for some reason, do not use my stamina, which I should have. But surprisingly, right here, my time would go down a significant amount. It doesn't look significant, but I would be in sixth place right now. I would go down one place, which is pretty good, honestly. Before we go to the third speedrun, consider becoming a member. You get special perks like emojis and my videos early. Just check it out. These are the members currently, and on to the third speedrun. Our final speedrun is probably the best one I think I've ever had which oh, it's my PB, my. my personal best. I'm able to run over here. I don't see a notebook on the other side. I'm able to run through here and I see the school faculty room connects outside. So I just run through here and grab stuff. And I was able to get a banana. There's also a banana placed right on the side right there. So I'm able to run through. Um, I see two, two classrooms. So I'm able to get these notebooks and I'm able to run out of here. These movements are probably the best that I've done in a very long time. Uh, yep, I'm lucky that principal went the other direction, or else I think I would have been screwed. You can hear Baldy right here, so I'm actually, like, super afraid right now. And you can, you can see that I used my Diet B soda, which I didn't need to. But I still do, because I was so scared. We get into the elevator. 51 seconds. This is the most insane entrance I think I've ever had. Skip the pit. Don't need it. Go into floor two. I see three classrooms here, so I go all the way to the very end. I was going to go into the one that was right in front of me on the left, but I didn't. So I get this one. And I take a look down that hallway. The reason I take a look down it is because I'm like 90% sure there's definitely a notebook down here and I was correct. There was a chance that move would screw up the time, but it wouldn't. Because there was no notebook down on that side and I was able to go straight to this notebook and up. Right here I'm just trying to traverse through all these bananas and not just bounce around a million times like I did with the speedrun at the very beginning. I get lucky with a lot of these notebooks and I'm very happy with this speedrun. I might revisit this map and just see if I can get another personal best just with this map without the random seed. But I'm able to do this and go through. I decide that I'm not gonna waste my time getting that too and I get that equation wrong. I get that exit and I keep running. It's just such a perfect maneuver, and if you notice, the time here is almost the exact same as the first run. I just didn't get a good 
third floor, which it would have been good if I ended up getting the map. And might I add, we had the perfect YTPs for this map, and I'm very happy. Right here, I see up at the top that there is a notebook. Uh, sadly, the timer was in the way for you guys, so you couldn't really see it as well. I should have just gotten the 9 there, but I didn't. We run through, I get this zesty bar, and I make sure I get this one. I get a lot of these equations wrong for some reason, I don't know why. But we end up getting three notebooks and the timer hasn't even, you know, done its thing. We're at four notebooks and literally all the notebooks that we need are on this row. I'm able to get this one, decide if I want the- oh, I do get the diet piece soda, I don't remember getting that. So we're able to do this, get that, and we're in the final stretch. We have three more. I'm able to get this one, which is zero, and I'm able to run to this notebook to our right. Seven is the number that we need, and we're able to get it. I should have went to my left before and just gone down that way because it would have saved me at least ten seconds, but I realized that in a few seconds right as I look over there. So, now we're making it to our last notebook that is right in front of us. I get really lucky with playtime not getting me, I don't know how. But now, we are at the run. Our final run. I should have used the banana here, so I could have saved my stamina and stuff. But, you know what? It's, it's fine. I get screwed over here. Um, to not get shot by beans... <laughs> that pisses me off. This is what makes my time go down. I am 100% sure if I didn't get shot by beans, this would have been a world record run. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of sad, and it's probably coping that I'm saying that it would have been world record, but it really would have been. We're able to run all the way through here and through all these hallways. We're able to run through this hallway and use our Nana Peel here. I decided that that would be a good idea, and Baldi's at the end of this hallway, which is terrifying. Baldi is right behind us, and I am barely dodging. And here we go. Win. This got us the third place run. Barely, too. This would have been second place, but... We were only a couple milliseconds off. Literally by like, I think, six milliseconds. That's it! My speedrun. Uh, you can view the speedrun down in the description or on my second channel, because that's where I posted it. I also want to thank you guys so much for visiting, because this... This was insane. I might try and get the world record still, so keep your eyes peeled. But thank you so much for watching. Consider becoming a member because it really helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao.